and welcome back to our month of Azure Databricks brought to you by Advancing Analytics. Today we're going to be talking about joining data. How do we take two data frames, bring them together, share data between them, lots of different ways you can do it. I'm going to take you through some of the normal types and get you started on that journey. So I've got my two data frames set up. I'm going to create a new data frame and I've got this join function. So I'm saying data frame one, join it to, telling it which data frame, data frame two, telling it the columns to join them, and I'm going to have to give it a type. So the types are going to be very, very familiar. No surprises here if you've done lots of SQL. But we're going to quickly run through the different types so you everyone's on the same page and give you a very quick example of how it works. So first up, we've got our inner and outer join. So inner join, this is saying I want to take records from both sides and only where they exist in both do I want to bring them together. So please only retain records that exist in both sides, throw everything else away. Outer join, that's saying keep everything, do not throw any data. So it doesn't matter if you've got some records of data frame one that don't join to data frame two, give me the full set of absolutely everything. No surprises here, I've got my left and right joins. So my left join, I'm saying keep everything from data frame one, whether or not it joins successfully data frame two. If there's records in data frame two that don't have an equivalent on the other side, chuck them, get rid of them. Right out of join, other way around. Anything in data frame one that doesn't have a thing, get rid of, keep everything else. Obviously bring both sides together where they exist in both data sets. It's a little bit different, so I'm saying I've got a semi-join. So this is kind of the same as an inner join. I'm saying throw away records that don't exist in both sides, but I only want to see records from data frame one. So it's a bit like exists. So I'm saying take this data set, filter it, get rid of any records that don't exist in the other one, but I don't want to see any data from my data frame two. And then actually I've got the kind of the other way around of it. I've kind of got the equivalent of the not exists. And then we've got the other way around. So I've got the not exists. So I can say, give me everything from data frame one that does not exist, that doesn't have a corresponding record in data frame two. It's a nice way of filtering down your data set. And there's one final one, so the cross join. So I'm not giving it a column to join on. I'm saying I want the Cartesian product. Give me absolutely every single row in data frame one. For every single row, I want to see a row per row that's in data frame two. So it's going to explode the amount of data I've got, but it's a good way of combining two data sets and exploding out if that's what you're trying to achieve. Okay, so I've got an example here. I've got a really simple example. I've got two data frames. My first data frame, load of people, and they've got a country key. And I've got a load of countries, each has a relevant country key and the description of the country. Now I can see I've got a person called Anna who has a country key that doesn't exist. We don't know where she's actually from. And we've also got country Belgium and none of our people are from Belgium. So let's see what happens when we try and do some joins and hopefully it'll make sense as to what the different kind of joins are doing. So first and foremost, I've got my inner join, really simple. I'm saying take data frame one, my people data frame, do this join function to country data frame. I'm telling it the countries, the columns to join them. And I'm not giving it a join type because I don't have to. Inner join is the default. So look at the data. You can see I've lost Anna, I've lost Belgium because they don't exist on either side. And I've just got that set of data that exists in both, got columns from both, combined as a new data frame. Then, pretty straightforward, I've got my left out of join. You can see I've now got left as a parameter at the end. So I'm telling it do a left join. And so you can see that it's actually kept in that Anna record. So I don't have Belgium in here. I do have Anna because I'm left is applying to that first data frame, that people data frame. I'm getting rid of data from the second, from the country data frame, if it doesn't exist in that first one. Other way around, I've got my right out of join. So again, so I've specified as right. Now I've lost Anna, no longer have Anna in here, but I do have Belgium coming through. So again, just controlling which side of the data set is taking precedence, which one's being dropped out. Really straightforward stuff. Then I've got my full outer. 
this is my saying, I want the full set. Give me absolutely everything. So in here, I've got Belgium in there. I've got Anna in there. So it doesn't matter if they don't exist. Obviously, the data that does match, where they've got matching columns, I've got data from both sides on a single row. Okay, then the interesting ones. And I've got my semi join. So I've said it's a left semi. You can only do left, you can't do right semis. And so I've got just, just my data from that people data set. So from that first data frame, I've got my data, and it's only the data that has relevant records in the other set. So I've lost Anna here because she doesn't exist. Other way around, my anti join, essentially saying do a not exists. So take these data frames, combine them on this key, and only show me the records that do not exist in the other data frame. And you can see I've got Anna there. And again, I've got no country information coming from. I've got no information from that second data frame. Okay, and then finally, I've got a cross join. I'm not using that join function, I'm using the cross join function. Don't need to give it anything else, and it's returning that Cartesian product. So you can see I've, for every John, I've got a John for every country. And there's lots of data in there brought back. Again, be a little bit careful about that. If you try and do the cross join type with a normal join, it will give you an error. Okay, so hopefully that was really, really simple. It really gives you an idea of how to do joins in Databricks. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can keep making more of these things. And we'll see you next time.